This video corresponds to chapter 16 of this book and in this video I'm gonna calculate a beam with a distributed load and check the results of that calculation with help of free fem tool Autodesk Force Effect. So here you have uh, the example that I'm gonna calculate. I'm gonna calculate a profile of one meter long and I'm gonna calculate the maximum moment that's inside this beam using a free online fem tool. It's uh, called Autodesk Force Effect. It uh, it won't give you all the results that that uh, commercial FEM packages will give you, but it, it can give you a lot of helpful results already. So here you have the the drawing of the beam with a virtual cut. So the the beam has been cut here in the middle to get the the value of the internal moment in the beam, and I've already done this calculation with uh, uh, the shear and moment diagrams over here. The maximum value is uh, Q, the distributed load times the length to the square divided by 8. And how this maximum value was calculated is uh, written on the next page. So switch to the next page here. Here you see the whole calculation of how to calculate the maximum moment with help of a virtually cut beam. Uh, how to calculate the maximum moment when there is a distributed load and you'll find that the maximum moment is the distributed load times the length to the square divided by 8 and here I have it filled out for this example of a, a beam of 1 meter long I get a, a value of 100 times the length to the squared is uh, 100 times 1000 squared divided by 8 and I'll get this value and I can reproduce that with help of the, the free fem tool as I'm gonna do now so I'm going to switch over. This is Autodesk Force Effect. Uh, you can you can start it just by using this website. If you then log in, then you can also save your models. But uh, if you don't log in, you can already start a, a calculation. So it's a uh, it's convenient to to create a login, and then you can save your models, which is uh, convenient. So I'll start a new diagram. I'll draw a beam of one meter length. So this is uh, too long, but I can change that so change that to one meter thousand millimeter like that I'm gonna apply my fixtures over here and a sliding fixture over here and then create a, a force I want a distributed load and I can do that by clicking over here and then dragging the load like that uh, Autodesk force effects will already give me some visual results immediately and now I had a value of 100 Newton per millimeter that I used in the in the previous slide. Uh, let me see, I can move uh, the diagram a little. So uh, 100 uh, Newton per millimeter, Autodesk Force Effects immediately uh, recalculates that in a, a total force. And now I can use the report to get the shear and moment diagrams for this beam. So just push here report. And now here I get a, a nice report and here I see the shear diagram and here I see the moment diagram and the maximum value is indeed as previously calculated. It is uh, 1.25 E7. If you if you put the dot here you, you'll find you'll have seven characters behind the dot. So 1.25 E7 Newton uh, multiplied by millimeter. So never divided by millimeter, it's Newton multiplied by millimeter and it's exactly the value that I have over here so 1.25 E7 Newton times millimeter is 1.25 E4 Newton over a meter so it's a uh, you have to see that to be able to switch these two values into each other so uh, this force working over a millimeter is the same moment as this force working over a complete meter so now I've uh, I've used uh, a free online tool, Autodesk Force Effect, to to get the shear and moment diagrams of this beam, which is convenient. Now, if you were to have a a more uh, a more commercial available FEM software package, you'd also be able to analyze this profile and analyze the maximum deflection. That's not yet possible with Autodesk Force Effect. Maybe in the future, but 
at this moment it's not yet possible but you can use Autodesk Force Effect to verify your results which is uh, always better than not verifying anything at all. So that was uh, the presentation on Autodesk Force Effect and how to use it. I've showed uh, a convenient way of generating a report and checking re the results. So thanks for watching.